Good morning, boss. Good morning. So we're back from getting oil for the truck, right? Yeah. And so I guess we should introduce ourselves, though. I'm Rachel. And I'm Carl. Yes. And we're Happy's family. Yes. And uh, so let's talk a little bit about that real quick. Okay. Thanks for watching, by the way. And remember to hit that notification bell, the like bell. I mean, the like bell. <laughs> the like or the dislike button and subscribe if you want. Yeah, we really appreciate it. Um, so, you know, you guys may wonder where did Happy's come from? And it is H A P P Y apostrophe S because Carl is happy. <laughs> yeah, that's my nickname. Yeah. Um, so growing up, you know, Carl always had the nickname Happy and, uh, in 2000 and what, nine or 2010, I guess early. When we were deciding to move here, right? Yeah. So he worked with um, a tree company, which you guys may have heard us mention before. And the owner of the tree company, um, because Carl and his brother both worked there, you know, he called your brother Bennett, right? Yeah. So he couldn't call another one Bennett. So he ended up naming Carl Happy, and which was funny because that was always his nickname growing up anyway. Yes, with my stepdad and his, uh, my other friend Mike, his yeah. friend, used to call me Happy all the time because I always smiled. Yeah. So, um, so the funny thing is, is the owner of the tree company did not even know Carl's real name. One day he I came. worked with him for years, <laughs> yeah. and he didn't know my real name. He <laughs> called me Happy all the time. Yeah. I mean, he even came to the house one day, and he was like, oh, I'm looking for Happy. And he's like, and this is quite embarrassing, but I don't even know his first name. <laughs> he said, I know it's Bennett, but <laughs> yeah. So it was just funny. Um, so, you know, when we were getting ready to move here, everybody knew that we were going to be starting a lawn care and landscaping company. And we were like, oh, what are we going to call it? What are we going to call it? And he came up with the idea, well, why don't you call it Happies? And it just stuck because, um, you know, Carl is happy and it was Happy's Lawn Care. So that is why. And then when we started the YouTube channel, we, we kept it. Happy's family. Yeah. Um, and we did Happy's family because... We didn't want to just say, like, okay, we're only going to share lawn care and landscaping. We knew in the future, like, going forward in all of our videos, we were going to do more family into the garden and farming. Yeah. And then even going from here, we're going to always have landscaping and lawn care. But we've cut back on clients to 38 now, and we're doing more landscaping. And we want to be able to later on show more of the farming when we buy our own property and it might even transition to a lot more of the farming and stuff because that's what we want to that's what we want to retire doing yeah. eventually is the farming aspect and the nursery growing plants and all that fun stuff and yeah. then hopefully if the boys want to take over the lawn care aspect of it then they'll have a business that's already functioning for them um, and they can take that over unless they want to do something else in life. So we'll see where that goes, but that's many years out. Yeah, but that's just a, a little quick story with, uh, about Happies and where Happies came from. And um, yeah, so we're just running with it. And you know what? It's so memorable. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, yeah, sometimes people are like smileys, you know, like they they make up their own happy. We've been called just happy. Um, we've been called Gosh, all kinds of, but like, especially even, when people write us out checks and stuff for yeah. the business side of it. Mm -hmm. It's funny, but no worries. I mean, it's just, we're happy. <laughs> and, and, and many people even call like Carl happy and then me misses happy which is really funny so and it's not like we don't have our bad days and we're like a hundred percent happy all the time but for the most part we are i mean you have to roll with things even when things get you down i get sometimes angry with things when they don't go right mm -hmm. but in the end of the day being mad at something or being upset with something or frustrated with something you got to step back and go back to it and just yeah be happy listen we all have our struggles we all have our own story and how hard we worked to get here um and you just have to 
I, I just think that if you are happy and you try to keep a positive, a positive attitude. attitude about it, it just, things will go smoother. Yes. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. So, yeah, we experience life just like everybody else. Mm-hmm. We are real people. Um, and, you know, some may look at us like, really? Come on. Get a grip on life. We do. Mm-hmm. We, we enjoy life life and we are grateful and thankful for every moment that we have and Even being able to meet all you guys and comment with all you guys yeah. and one day we'll meet most of you hopefully i know it would i mean again like gie was a great thing and we're not even so sure if we're going to be going this year because um we just have a lot of family things going on mm-hmm. also this year a lot of transitions um but it, we hope to get to GIE. If not, then in the next couple of years, we really do hope to be able to open up Happy's Farm yes. to you all. And um, hopefully some of you guys will come visit. So for now, I'm going to be unhappy and change <laughs> blades and sharpen blades on these mowers and grease them because it's only still a wind chill of 2930 out. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to get out here because I just seen another lawn care company go by. We're going to get out and go mow some. and. Mm-hmm. Have a mowing day. Was it David? <laughs> no, it wasn't David. It was another company. I David's like, I'm already out mowing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, let's but, get this going. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks. Really? There's nothing in here for you, man. They're just mowers. Look at that. My board's coming off. What is this chicken doing? Let me get this chicken out of here. Come on, man, go. I don't want to start it up with you in here. There's no reason to scare you. Go. Go. Go ahead. Good girl. Like you're a dog or something. Go. your bleeders. See that little hole there? It should pop out of that hole. Okay, let Let's me see, see how many it takes because I've been bad at greasing this in a while. Oh yeah. Is it coming out? Yeah. Oh it's coming out a lot. So 35 pump. It looks yucky. Let's see. 56, 57, 60, 61, 62, 63 pumps. Wow. Yeah, so I'm gonna get them each 50. It's been a while. Hours and I haven't. Oh, had a- that was perfect. I love how I see Zeppelin coming right out of our trailer. <laughs> 30, 31, 30, 32. So that ain't too bad. Uh-uh. So I'm gonna put about 30 to 40 in each spindle. Just be on the safe side. And then we'll grease these regularly when we Yeah, because grease. as you guys see the overflow comes out and it's better to have too much grease than not enough for- but i'm going to give this these two mowers 40 pumps each in each spindle just to be on the safe side um and the blade should spin better oh and by the way all the blades did come off fine oh good so, so then it was just an issue with um we think what happened is that we hit like, I hit something with the Z3. I hit, like, a stump in the ground that I don't normally hit. Um, but I went over it a different way, and I ended up hitting it last year. And I think that's what torqued that one on. And Carl's not sure what he hit, but obviously something, something with the 48 because it was only one blade on each of the mowers. So everything else came off. Okay, I need to go in and find some gloves because when we're actually mowing today my hands are going to be freezing what are you doing you two wait what are you two doing daddy's not working in the garden right now yeah they keep following 
Where are the two of you going now? Watch yeah. You guys hear that noise? That's what the chickens sound like when they're laying an egg. Look how nice this lawn looks, guys. Right? Yeah. A lot of gra a lot of weeds in it? No. I don't really see many weeds at all, not right? Many. Oh man, it feels nice and thick. Doesn't it? But guys, for the first time I was able to stripe that hill. Definitely helps to have new tires on. I didn't slide at all. Nice. Not bad. Just about done this one. I got an edge over there. Rachel's gonna blow everything off. It's looking good. So here's the next one. Uh, I'm gonna mow an edge all this one. Rachel mowed across the street already. But I'm gonna go edge that one first. And then
Okay, that one's done. This is looking nice. And Rachel did that one over there. Let's go check on how she's doing down at the end of the road here. Here's the next one. Rachel already started. I'll get you guys an after. I'm not gonna record this one much. We'll get the next one, our big one, when the sun goes down. Okay guys, Rachel's finishing up here. That's not good. That's not good at all. Anybody say why that wall failed there? Can anybody give a guess to that? I'm gonna guess because it wasn't built, right? So we're at the last one for the day. Yes. It's not bad, it's 540. Um, and it's, oh, there is a lake still out there. Oh yeah. Didn't recede all the way. It's crazy. We were just looking at like how much the rain killed the sod. Yeah. But whatever, it could have been worse, you know, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that there's areas that are still dealing with flooding. So, um, and now these freezing cold temperatures. Yeah, crazy. it's been a crazy year so far. I know. But... So do you want to start mowing up there first? Yeah, whatever you want me to do. Okay. Because you want to get the sun. I want to get it recording this way with the sun. Sometimes the he doesn't, you know, tell me like what his plan is and I'll go mow an area and like I have ADHD I think when it comes to mowing <laughs> well because I like to mow it once and then let the grass just sit there and dry a little bit and then go mow another area so you know he'll be like oh, I was trying to record you man <laughs> there well there is a certain way like for anybody who records videos and stuff for um lawn care there is a certain way in the yard you can set up the camera to get the best mowing shots with the stripes and stuff how you go i mean sometimes you can't help it with the way the sun is yeah but, um usually the higher you can have up the camera the better you can get the mowing shot yeah remember i'm not the videographer the videographer yeah so. Carl, so and i got this new try well rachel bought it a while ago where i put a block of wood in it and mm -hmm. my camera stays there and it records it's better than it's nice. sticking it on the mower and stuff yeah. but. oh and i do have to say um i do like the 3m work tunes so for i forget who it was that always used to tell us get the 3m get the 3m well i put the thing over my ears and then put the muffs on them the 3ms it helps but they tend to when it's hot out i get hot quick yeah wow. see now whereas i it doesn't affect me like that because it is i understand what he's saying um but it doesn't affect me because i usually wear the head wraps anyway you're used to it yeah, yeah. so so but all right well let's I guess get we this get going
there you guys go hopefully you enjoyed that beautiful sunset out there over the mountains we are done here it is cold out here rachel's finishing up blowing up it'll look a lot better next time we'll be able to show you some stripes but this was long and thick you see me growing all blowing all that grass off and once again we blow the grass off not bag it up because we sprayed this one boss told me i didn't have to work until dark anymore and i was crying like a baby i was freezing like my hands are so numb that i can't even feel them and i even had gloves on and this is carl's fault today but hold on she was asked by her son do you want these winter gloves and she said no your dad ain't gonna want them winter gloves <laughs> She should have taken the winter gloves, right, Bob? I wouldn't have been able to mow with those big wintry gloves on. Yeah, like, they hard. were, like, really thick winter, like, snow gloves is what he was trying to give me. That last lawn, guys, it was a first cut, and it was a first cut, all right. It was long. Rachel went over it three times, four times in some spots. I blew it. Um, it's just, you got to do what you got to do in the beginning of the season. It is what it is. Well, it was just, yeah, it, there was just a little bit of mess up like miscommunication and then there was like tons of rain yes tons of rain and it's a little tricky right now because all the straw yeah hay, bare spot so i mean it will just look nicer and nicer as the season goes by but i have never seen that grass that long and it was definitely grass yeah it was grass the, I mean, most of the weeds were gone except the areas we didn't spray yeah, and and then the areas that I think that they seeded, it looks like they seeded with ryegrass, which we don't normally seed with because um, rye just grows up so quickly, and then once the summer heat hits, it's it like gone. dies off. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and it's like not thick and lush like fescue is. So. No. Well, hopefully <sighs> you guys enjoyed that video today. Um, Tomorrow, I'm not sure. I think we're going to set up that landscaping, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the boss will get a break from mowing. And then Monday, we resume mowing again. Yep. So guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. Yes. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you know when we upload videos. And be happy. Or at least try. Have, Have a good, good night. night.